joining us this lunchtime. More liver transplants will take place in Leeds each year because of a new machine that keeps organs alive before surgery. The £140,000 liver perfusion machine makes it possible for donor livers to be pumped with blood and nutrients ahead of a transplant instead of being stored on ice. Well, here's our health correspondent, Jamie Coulson. Some of the pictures in his report are of a medical nature. So, how are you? Uh, I'm doing OK. I've had, a, I've had a really good week. That's good. Just four weeks ago, Gail Hill underwent surgery for a new liver after spending two years on the transplant list. The 53-year-old had suffered with polycystic liver disease for 17 years, which caused large cysts to grow throughout her liver. It was crushing me, really. It was squashing all my other organs. I had lots of scar tissue. Everything were all stuck together. That, that caused a lot of pain. Whereas, you know, now, despite having had a transplant, I'm, I'm pain-free. Um, and I feel wonderful, actually. This is the machine that we used for um, the liver that we transplanted. Today, Gail was shown the liver perfusion machine that made her transplant possible by keeping the organ alive for 14 hours before surgery. The new machine cost £140,000 and was paid for by the hospital charity Leeds Cares. We re-established circulation to the liver. Usually a donor liver is kept on ice before transplant, but a perfusion machine keeps it warm and healthy by pumping it with blood and nutrients. It reduces the risk of damage and gives doctors added time to assess how well it's working. The first advantage will give us, allow us to do more transplant. The second advantage will give us, it will give us the opportunity to use wider pool of donors and allow it to use more extended criteria donors that we normally use and reduce the patient's mortality in the waiting list and do the transplant in a quicker fashion so allow the patient to get the transplant earlier. Here in Leeds, they carry out up to 150 liver transplants each year, but with this new liver perfusion machine, they hope more organs will be viable, meaning around up to 20 more patients could have a transplant each year. It were really quite a difficult transplant. It were a really difficult operation that they, you know, that they knew that, and I knew that, it was really quite high risk. And so I know they needed to get the best team together. And because of that machine, they, they were able to do that. Without that machine, I would never have had my transplant. Thank you Thank very you. much. After years of living in pain, Gail says she's now enjoying a new lease of life. Jamie Coulson, BBC Look North.